Welcome to Queen's Pride, a CBS New York special. I'm your host, Jessica Moore. Queen's is the city's most diverse borough, and that's why it's the perfect location for the city's second largest pride parade. It's been happening almost every year here in Jackson Heights since 1993. The parade was founded in memory of one young man named Julio Rivera. To many people in the LGBTQ community, Julio Rivera is known as the man whose murder galvanized the neighborhood of Jackson Heights, Queens to fight for equality and acceptance. But for Patricia Dunley, her cousin Julio was so much more. He was polite, he was well spoken, he was intelligent, he was handsome, really handsome. When he walked into a room, he had beautiful, glassy brown eyes. Rivera was a gay, New York born Puerto Rican from the Bronx who lived in Jackson Heights and worked as a bartender. Dunley says the family grew up poor but was rich in acceptance. We would have parties, we would have birthday parties and Christmases and Thanksgivings and Halloween parties. Many times there was a man dressed as a woman and that was cool and nobody yeah. even, it didn't even cross our minds that that might be a problem until it was. On July 2nd, 1990, at the young age of 29, Rivera was brutally murdered at a schoolyard playground in Jackson Heights. They killed him with a 40-ounce bottle of beer, um, the glass shards, a hammer. Police initially dismissed the idea of a hate crime, chalking Rivera's death up to a drug deal gone bad. Outrage quickly spread among the LGBTQ community, leading to the first hate crime conviction in New York City. Why do you think Julio's death galvanized the community as effectively as it did? They were just done with dying. Here he was so young and, you know, so loved and so beautiful, and it just wasn't something that we, we were sort of aghast. They went out hunting for a homosexual to kill. Can you imagine? Julio Rivera's murder was actually our stonewall. In the aftermath of Rivera's murder, we want people to know we are your family. Longtime Queen City Councilman Daniel Drum started the Queen's Pride Parade, the city's second largest pride parade. The openly gay lawmaker and former teacher had long fought for equality in the neighborhood, introducing an inclusive curriculum called Children of the Rainbow that he says was swiftly shot down as homosexual propaganda. Drum says Rivera's murder made the quietly pervasive undercurrent of hate undeniable. What I decided to do was to put a face on the tens of thousands of LGBTQ people who live in the borough of Queens because people needed to get to know who we are. We're your family, your friends, and your neighbors, and maybe you don't know that we're gay, but we're there. The joy of it is what we really need. You know, we need to be able to say everybody's different, and here we are, and we're going to be happy about it. Why not? I could just see him just parading around and dancing and joyful. He would have really, really loved it. 